Hey guys, and welcome back to Scotty Nose. Today we're back here working on the V16 motor, uh, getting some of the wiring harness installed. I got it kind of cleaned up and started kind of playing around with it a little bit, um, getting it all connected. Got the alternator piece connected. Right now, working on the uh, fuel injector lines here, which I'm probably going to have snake up through uh, the intake manifold here. But what I'm currently working on um, is actually the fuel injector connectors. They, they go into the stock OEM section. There's actually a little tab in here. Uh, you can kind of see it in there, which I'm actually having to remove with my X-Acto knives here just to make it fit to the connection. So it's probably hard to see. Um, I've kind of removed that one already and it slides in. I gave it a shot. So we're going to get that going and then hopefully make it work. So stay tuned and let's get the rock and rolling. Before I actually hop on the fuel injectors, I wanted to kind of let everybody know, of course, you've seen in the last video, I do have my transmission here, again, with the carbon synchros, limited slip. I also have my competition clutch, uh, which is actually a stage three clutch. Uh, I'm just waiting on my flywheel to come in, and once I get that in, I should be able to get this uh, transmission ready to go. Of course, I'll get everything going with the uh, motor here, uh, get that dropped down and be able to do that. So stay tuned, let's hop on these injectors. a couple days uh, I got some few new parts in I have been working on getting this wire harness set up uh, so I think this is actually the way I'm gonna run my uh, wires for my fuel injectors I tried to actually get it to turn but obviously there's a lot of stuff in the way I can't really tuck these too well I'm sure there's a way I don't know what it is I'm not worried I just want to get this thing in um, but I do have a lot of the stuff plugged in ready to go um, I will have to tighten up my sandwich plate get my uh, oil feed uh, installed there. Um, I do have my fittings for my 10 a.m. Everything's looking good. Um, I do have to hook up the uh, map sensor here. Uh, problem being, um, I'm not sure if it's compatible. I'll try to manipulate it one way or another, see if I can get it to work. Problem being, this little plastic piece has that little, I guess, piece in the middle. This one actually doesn't. It's probably hard to see, but it doesn't. So I might be able to kind of trim a piece out, see if I can get it to work. Well, I'll just get another one either way is fine. Um, but I'm working on that. Good news is, um, of course, naturally, I did get my new clutch kit, um, but also got my new competition flywheel, or pressure plate, rather. So it's still wrapped in here, competition uh, lightweight flywheel. Should be pretty compatible for what I got running. Um, also got some new ground wires. And also some good news, I got my new uh, innovative mounts. So it's coming along. Um, I did have to place an order because initially uh, when I bought these mounts, you can see they're kind of canted to the side. I actually took this off. That was on there originally. Um, it's not compatible. So I actually went online, uh, found one on actually eBay, which I have right here, which is compatible. I kind of mocked it up a little while ago just to see if it'll work. Um, so it should work pretty good. And that way I can get my motor, uh, motor mount on. So. With this, of course, it is dirty. I'm going to clean this up, probably paint it, uh, paint it to silver like everything else just to kind of make everything uh, work, and we should be good to go. So I'll check you guys in a moment. All right, so we're back. I went ahead and got the uh, mount installed. I got it painted. It's looking kind of fresh, probably hard to see on camera. It looks a lot better in person. Uh, I went ahead and then kind of just mocked up my motor mount, how it's going to sit. So again, I have the uh, angled um, post mounts here for that. So. Should be pretty good. So now I get to put everything back on. 
Um, hopefully this will work. Uh, then eventually I'm going to drop this off. I have a tire I'm going to set it on. Uh, that way I can get my clutch and flywheel put on and then hopefully mount this transmission and then I'll be putting it in the car. So I went ahead and got everything put back on. Cover, everything's tight. Uh, rotated, everything's still in time. Everything's good to go. Um, but I did create kind of a mess here um, just the other day, uh, which was kind of funny because um, that's why it's always good to double check everything. So when I was playing around trying to get, you know, an idea how I want to run my fuel uh, return line or my oil return line from the turbo, I realized that the uh, bung was still loose. So unfortunately I had to drop the, the oil pan, uh, which caused me to replace the gasket uh, just because I broke it with all the gasket maker Honda bond on there. So I do got quite a bit of mess from the old gasket maker. But I was able to get that tight, you know, kind of snugged up. So I'm going to work on trying to retrofit away. It's going to be a short hose um, to kind of get that back on and together. Uh, so I'll probably work on that first. And then once I get that done, I'll get ready to, to put the motor in. So what I think I'm going to do is actually I'm probably going to go ahead and get a uh, another uh, map sensor here. It's a three bar Omni sensor. Uh, again, like I explained, you know, it's kind of not matching up to my uh, connection here. So I'm going to probably get another one thinking about maybe getting the uh, Skunk 2 or um, even a Honda since I will be running Honda for this uh, motor. So I think about doing something like that, but I think everything's pretty much on. Um, where it needs to be. Uh, one thing I might go ahead and install real quick is probably this ground. Again, I'm going to reinstall this ground uh, over here. I'm not sure if I want to orchestrate it, you know, either way, uh, as long as it meets the uh, the uh, frame. So we'll work on that. So I went ahead and mount, mocked back up the uh, power steering pump here. I still need to get me a belt, uh, but they put on this new ground wire. I think it looks pretty dope. Um, larger grounds, four gauge ground wire. Uh, so I guess you can never really have too much of a ground, um, but I will keep that on there. I think that looks pretty good, but we're getting there. Uh, again, I got the motor all prepped up, um, ready to get ready to install. Uh, one thing I will show you guys real quick, and I still got to mock up my fuel pump, I mean my fuel filter, uh, again, which is probably going to go against the back firewall here. I'm probably going to have to tap a hole and, and do what I need to do there. Uh, so I'm thinking about getting that done first before I put the motor in as well. And, I still got to drop the fuel tank and put the uh, new Walbro 255 fuel pump in. Uh, again, I'm not going to create crazy amounts of power. I just want something that's going to be reliable and, and last a little bit down the road. So uh, I think I'll get this set up pretty well, um, get everything tuned up, everything good to go. Um, so again, I'm going to put back on my exhaust here, make sure everything is good. Um, I'm thinking about even getting some heat wrap for that and probably getting the blanket or something for the turbo. Don't know uh, what I want to do yet. So stay tuned. So again, just to recap, you know, got my uh, new motor mounts from Innovative. Uh, everything should work fine. I got the transmission mount. Uh, should mock up pretty good with the transmission. That should be no problem. Very similar to what I have in my Civic. Um, got my new competition lightweight clutch. Um, of course, I'll get the intercooler and everything mounted up once I get the motor in. Uh, one cool thing um, I failed to mention before is actually I have a, a new three gauge pillar, uh, which I'll put inside the car. Uh, run some gauges in there, thinking about running a boost gauge, uh, oil, oil uh, pressure gauge, and then also a, a boost gauge. So I uh, should be coming along pretty pretty good. So hopefully everything should work out the way it goes, um, and we'll see. But I think that's going to do it for this episode of Scotty Knows. I appreciate you guys bearing with me. Uh, again, I'm almost finished my basement. Um, it's almost hockey season, but again, I want to put out some content for you guys uh, just to get something out. So a little bit of a shorter video today. Uh, again, we still got a tremendous amount of work for this Dell Soul. Uh, so I appreciate you guys for, for viewing and uh, watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, uh, leave some feedback, some comments below. Let me know how you feel about the motor build um, or any suggestions, any of that good stuff is always welcome. Um, but again, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. So again, remember to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll check you guys in the next episode. Peace.